Hey everybody, it's me Josh with Hope and today I'm going to be showing you history being made using the Hope Spirit Box app, the free app that it's taken almost a year for me to develop. Thousands of you are now using. We don't need expensive boxes. We don't need expensive gear. We just need a connection. Here I put the device in your hands. Wait till you see the amazing results. Here I have a patron, Celeste, send me a recording of her trying the HSB one. Listen to how great her initial results are. Josh is wanting me to do a private session using his new app here. Is that okay with you guys? I'm trying to learn how to do his app. I figured it was time to do an experiment where I would have a couple of patrons who volunteered, Leslie and Angela, use the HSB one at home, asking for their loved ones directly. I was on Zoom to help guide them. After they recorded their responses, they would send them to me. And Leslie was first. She wanted to ask for her father-in-law, Barry. All right, so when you are ready, um, Barry, please. Um, we're ready for you, Barry. Hi, Barry. So back, getting back to the questions, um, I'll try to ask them slowly, one at a time. Um, I'm wondering, are you in the light? Are you, are you doing okay? Okay, so you're finished with that, right? So end that recording. Okay. I want you to do each question as, as its own recording. Okay. Okay. And um, have you seen heaven? Have you seen heaven or have you seen God? Now, Leslie was asking for Barry, her father-in-law, but it sounds like her biological father, whom she didn't know, was coming through as well. Based on just the first response, it seems Barry isn't the only family member wanting to come through. Right now, you've stopped, and we have two recordings right now, right? Okay, good. Very good. I hear that last one. It sounded like I even heard a yes almost. Like I am almost just heard a yes, um, acknowledging that. So this sounds like it could be working here. Hi, Barry. It's it's Leslie again, and uh, I think I'm going to repeat the question. Uh, we wanted to know if you're okay and are you in heaven? Have you seen God? So I'm not sure if I ended that to came over too far. Do I wait till I don't hear anything at all? Before okay. you hit end record, you want to make sure all the sound has come through first. Okay, so leave so, the gate open until the end. No, no, you're going to okay. do, you're going to open it, just do a little thing and then close it all the way and okay. then wait for all the sound to come through. It takes three seconds still of a, of a delay. Right. When, it's, when it's quiet again, then you end the recording. Okay, I think I got all of that. Now you have the reverb set at 80 and it's on, right? Yes. Okay, everything's yes. good. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And Barry, in the past, you came through in a visit and um, you referenced a trip that you take with all the grandkids when they turn five. And um, you mentioned that in your last visit. Can you confirm that or share where you took them on their trips? And Barry, the um, 
I know I got interrupted by the dog. The grandkids miss you and love you. And um, they have such great memories of you and um, how much time you spent with them and made their little lives so special. Um, they wanted to know if you remembered the trips you took them on. And uh, do you remember where the other trips that you went on? I think that's something that you, you would probably recall easily. Barry, thank you so much for coming through. And I know it takes a lot of energy to do this. And we all miss you and love you. And we're taking care of ZZ. And if you have anything you want to leave with me to share with her, I know she would love that. Um, but we love you and we'll, we'll be talking to you again. I know you're always with us. Yeah, that sounded like something came through right there. As you see here in the messaging, Leslie was able to confirm that those answers were exactly correct. She received clear, direct, relevant responses using the HSB-1, and even though this was only an initial experiment with limited questions, the results seemed very promising. Now we go on to Angela, who's going to try and reach her son, Austin. So, Austin, we're asking you to come in. I'm going to mute myself so you know you're going to just, you, you got the whole, pet, you know, the sequence down, right? You're going to record. Ask my question and then do the. Do a little move. Times, yeah. Wait for it to come through. Make sure it's closed and then hit stop. Okay. Austin, that last week when you were in the hospital, did you see that I was with you holding your hand? until the end. Austin, uh, Joshua is getting married October 2nd and I want you to be there, okay? Will you be there, son? Now these responses don't seem as direct as what Leslie got, but they do seem like they pertain to Austin, or that Austin at least responded once. The next day on Austin's birthday, Angela went to his gravestone and used the HSB one there. Happy birthday, Austin. I love you. I hope you're here with me. Yeah. This experiment went exceptionally well, and of course there's room for improvement, and I will continue to work at it. But what this means is that so many more people can now get responses directly to them from their loved ones and guides. Without the help of expensive gear or mediums, someone like myself can help at first, but eventually they can do it on their own. Take a listen to some of the amazing responses I got in the group session using my device, the HSB-1. Um, she wants you to know if you can, or she wants to know if you can make yourself known in some way, if you can, you know, show her that you're around. She feels very abandoned. Helen feels abandoned. Yeah, right, never. Which is a great answer because she's saying, yeah, right, Helen, never. You're never, she's never going to, you're never going to be abandoned. So... Um, Gizmo, do you have anything to say to your mommy? I miss them. So she says that they miss you, the, the boys miss you, and he's, I feel like he just said, I miss them. How are you able to come through so well? This is so, this is very, you have a very strong energy, Gizmo. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, you have a good energy. something unbelievable every time I ask for this this little guy he comes through so I mean I've seen and I've seen a picture of you but it, I don't remember what that looks like so I don't know if that plays into you know but I'm seeing you 
Mary, can you, can you speak for Julie? Okay, I can't just end it on that. I have to give you one last shot. Oh, we're gonna reset. When that screen flashes, that's a quick reset. Pick your bank again, no big deal. Okay, let's drop the reverb again. All right, how about now, Mary? Can you try it again? Last time, anything Jesus inspired from Christ, Christ Father, any message that you might be able to give Travis that might jumpstart him, help him even further along his spiritual journey? Well, there it is. History being made. I am so grateful. Thousands of you have sent messages, comments that you're using it. I've seen some other amazing clips. I'm getting ready to be in St. Augustine this weekend for the first live hope event. I've also made it available for live webinars so you can see the link in the comments and you can purchase a ticket to see my live presentation in St. Augustine. You can download the app for free. You can check out my book. There's so much more to come. I love you all. Thank you.